Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope the weather's as nice as it is here in the UK, which is a rarity for here. But welcome back to another video, and today, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, we are installing um, an NRG um, quick release and a short hub and an RD steering wheel. Something I've wanted to do for a while, and I've had the NRG items since Christmas, but I've just haven't got around to getting it done. But it's something I've wanted to do for a while for two reasons. The first reason, probably like most places everywhere in the world, there's places where car crime is a thing, and unfortunately, that is a thing here as well. So, for security, my logic is if you've got no steering wheel, it's going to make it harder for them to nick your car. Hopefully, that's good logic. And then the second is just the presence of having a really nice Nardi wheel on there and a quick release as well, and the hub. So, I've still got the sock steering wheel on the car at the moment, um, but we re trimmed it with just one of those cheap um, re trim kits. Uh, the stock steering wheel had stitching or split on the steering wheel, so it wasn't nice to drive um, short term until we got these items. But let's keep the intro short. Let's, um, I'll show you the, the stock steering wheel and what we've done quickly, and then I'll show you what NRG items and the part numbers and also the Nardi wheel and part numbers and then we'll get to installing it. So stay tuned guys. Right guys, so just quickly, this is my series one. Stock steering wheel as mentioned, with one of those um, trim kits for the outside. Where I'm just pointing now, um, the original stitching on the original wheel had started to split. It doesn't look too bad and maybe in the future it would be cool to get this actually done um, Properly, so having the original lever taken off and then it being re-trimmed um, But for now that's coming off and then let's show you what's going on Right then guys, so the steam wheel I've gone for is a deep corn perforated lever with red stitch and then for anybody interesting that's your part number genuine nardi wheel from driftworks and then These two items so the quick release I've gone for a bit of a plain Jane um, black body um, and black ring and again part number SRK220 and then BK BK is black black for black body black ring and then my short hub is an SRK 140H gone for black all over because I wanted to keep the interior pretty OEM plus so that's why I'm not going for any mad colours, but I mean, NRG do do lot, absolutely wide variety of different colours and different style quick releases. But yeah, that's what we're going for. So I've got my little boy in the background, bless him. So he's going to be doing my filming as I've broke the stand for my phone to do time lapses. So we'll, he can be my cameraman for the rest of the video, and he's going to hold the phone while we do the install so let's get to it hey guys quickly this is a quick little snippet i want to put in at the beginning of the video definitely if you've not bought these items first maybe watch the whole video first and then make your mind up if you want to go down this route that's all i'm gonna say um and a few things i forgot to mention you'll probably you will need an impact gun i managed just about um without trying to poo myself is to get the, the original wheel off with just a, a wrench like a socket set um i should have had an impact on but i didn't but just watch the video in full and then make your mind if this is the route you definitely want to go down or you might want to go down a different product instead of the nrg i'm not knocking the nrg but you will have to do some adjustments to um the short hub to get it to fit you will need a high cast delete as well if you plan on doing it on an r33 gtst and there are some other issues and um, which i mentioned later in the video but I hope you enjoy the rest of this video guys and um, I'll catch you up in the next one. See you later. So this should just pull straight off and then behind here we will have um, a 19 mil nut um, to take off and then I'm sure the, horn, the wire for the horn. Doing my brother's quick release and hub on his 350. Um, the NRG items did come with lots of spades and extender cables, which I'm hoping we can use to make the horn work on the new steering wheel. So let's get this cover off 
and then get the bolt off. I'm not going to time lapse that because that should be straightforward, but as far as I'm aware, there's nothing holding it on, so literally just a tug on the sides should expose that, and then we'll I'll pick up the video there. And there we go, guys, as easy as that. Um, literally just a few pulls, and it, and it will come off. You won't break it. And then what you need to do then is disconnect this cable from uh, this bit down here, and then just push on that connector there, and then it will come from here. And then we're just going to put the 19 on here and then undo it. Right, I've, I've hit record. Well, that's it. Just hold it like that and point it here. Yeah. There you go. Well done. Can you see Daddy put that on there? Yeah. Yeah. Lift it up a little bit. There we go. Oh man. Maybe if it's one man. That is the one that's we need to get out, but it's going to be a long time to get out. <laughs> Give me a long time to get out. Right, guys, after several attempts, we finally managed to crack it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pass it back to my little cameraman and then we'll get this off. Um, remember, as well, when you're undoing your nut, not to take it off the full amount and then give the steering wheel bash each side. You've probably seen all those videos before, 10 years anyway, but just to make sure you don't smack yourself in the face when taking your wheel off. But, yeah, let's wind this off. Right guys, as you've probably seen, it's good old wax, and then you will notice when it starts to come through. So if we take this off, the wheel should come straight off now. Let's see if I'm correct. Oh, you gonna hold that for me? Good boy. And there we go. Right guys, let's get the NRG open and then we'll go from there. Escalated a little bit. I didn't realize, so the last clip was me saying I'll get the hub out and show you, which is, this is the hub. Then as you can see, whilst that does sort of agree there, there is no way that is going onto that. So reading on some of the Skyline forums, I think this needs to come off. So we're sort of winging it and reading up as we go along, but we have to take a trim apart, which is the bottom bit and the top bit of this, um, which is split. There's a few screws. As you can see, there's those two there, one down there, and there was another one. So there wasn't many, unless I'm missing some. And then you have to drop this down, and then you'd be able to get to that screw there to undo it. And then it's just a bit of, I don't know, back and forth, and they'll split in two, and the top bit will come off, bottom bit will come off, and then it leaves you with this. So what I plan on doing now is taking these four off and then see if that brings that off. Um, and then we're guessing then we potentially don't run this and then the short hook can go on. But let's take those four off and then we'll pick up from there. I've lost my cameraman so I can't really do any time lapses so it's just going to be lots of short um, updates with how we go. But yeah, let's get these four off and then see where we are. Hey guys, welcome back, and as you can tell, I'm in a change of clothes, and it's actually the next day. So that last bit of footage, things got even more confusing, and um, head scratching, and my little boy, the cameraman from yesterday, wanted to go play football and to mow the lawn in the garden. So we ended yesterday there, and I've got an hour or so, fingers crossed maybe we should be able to get it done in an hour, to try and finish this, but... Definitely not as straight as forward as I expected, but massive help um, from my friend Alex, who seems to know everything about Skylines. Dropped him a message about the hub and the pin thing. So, let's get that hub. So, the hub that you would have seen yesterday, uh, which is Let's remind ourselves, SRK140H. I need to lose these pins, apparently. Um, so, as you can probably see, I've tried to use mole grips and pliers to try and pull them out, and I don't know if I'm being 
a week or not, but I couldn't pull them out. So, ready the shed and got a saw. So, I'm planning on cutting them off flush, which is what I need to do on this. And then we'll turn the camera around and show you what we've got to do to sort of the steering rack and that um, that bit that we weren't sure on last that I said would ha I would have thought would need to be removed. And it turns out it does. So let's flip the camera around and I'll show you what we're going to do with this bit. Yesterday, this was on the car. Mm. Like that. So you've got four screws, um, Aussies. So just drop them four out. Then it literally comes undone like that. And then you're left with this. So then speaking to Alex, as mentioned, he said to disconnect the whole lot and get rid of and leave that. And then I'm seeing him next week at work. So he's going to tell me a workaround to get the form to work. But in the meantime, we're just going to disconnect all of this, lose this, and then get those pins cut off the hub that you've just seen in the previous clip. And then that should then mount onto this and then at least we can then start doing the quick release and getting the Nardi on. Right guys, I'm going to do a time lapse because it's pretty self-explanatory, but yeah. Leveled the saw as close as I could to each pin and then sawed them off. So they do now sit lower than the black bit. So in theory, if we go put this on now he says hi guys i'm back again as you would have seen from the last clip i had a few issues getting the hub on the car it wasn't straightforward but we got there in the end and then hopefully this video will help somebody else out that runs into the same issue i did just lastly though, before we flip the camera, uh, there are other applications out there. So if you don't want to be doing what I've done to my NRG to get it to fit, then just a few names off the top of my head. You've got HKB, Momo, Brown and Geeson that will probably maybe do um, short hubs or hubs for your car anyway. So it's always looking into them and they may have an easier install. But let's get the camera turned around and then I will show you what we've done. Right guys, so here we are. It, um, finished article. Um, this is just loosely on, um, so we'll take this off quickly to show you the major, not the major, but the one issue that left me scratching head on that last clip. So let's see if we can get the camera. So as you can see, this bit, let's see if I can, here doesn't go into the back of your short hub. Now speaking to Alex as mentioned in the video that is for your high cast so you'll definitely need your car having a high cast delete to get it installed um, so it doesn't necessarily it doesn't need to be seated into there but one thing I have found out by doing it is that your indicators will not auto cancel anymore so normally when you turn the steering wheel and it gets it so far it knocks off your indicator for you um, it won't do that now it will just continuously keep clicking and then you'll have to obviously stop it yourself which isn't the end of the world but it's just something to bear in mind again so that won't slide all the way on to that bit we just pointed out so then you'll need to bolt that back up um, which I did off camera as I mentioned and then once that's bolted up you've got your two wires which you would have seen in the clip those two connect to the two was in your quick release very easy to do because there's only a spade and like a connector and a spade connector so you can't get it mixed up they, they just go into each other then once doing that you'll have your hardware that comes in your quick release with your allen key so i would advise sort of doing um a star shape doing the tightening up and obviously don't over tighten them because you could easily round off the um heads so then once you've done that, that's that part installed. Then to the main bit, let's put this on. 
So there's an RD and the quick release. So once you've got the bit on I've just showed you, um, slide on your quick release. And then another thing to probably note is there is markings on the quick release and on the NRG, they're a little um, dot. So you always wanna be working when you're installing it to line up the dot at the very top of this bit. And then on your quick release, you'll have a little dot as well, which you need to line up perfectly. And that keeps everything um, straight. So definitely make sure you're doing that. Once your quick release is on, then offer your wheel up to the quick release. Again, star motion, tightening everything up again. Um, nice and straightforward. Again, not over tightening so you don't round off the um, head in the screws. Then after you've done that, then you can just put your horn in. Um, my Nardi horn is a single contact, so it's very straightforward to do because there's only one wire to connect up to the quick release. Um, and then another thing, I can't remember if I mentioned already obviously there's currently no horn on the car so what we're going to have to do is there is let's move this bit back so that leaves you with this connector which is what that thing we had to disconnect off earlier was so your horn connector wire will be one of these and looking at it quickly i believe it could be the green wire so i think it's the solid green wire so what i plan on doing is running the spade into the green uh, with a wire and then maybe getting like a brass connector of sorts and then if you offer it up to the back of the hub that you can see there with the brass then that will be the contact that you need for the horn and then by doing that, if we can somehow, again, I don't know, make a mounting point so the brass can just rest up against the back, then that should give you the horn. Um, but I'm gonna do that in a different video, guys, and then if it does work, then I can confirm that. But that's definitely the connector we disconnected, and I'm pretty sure it's a solid green wire that we need. Um, if anyone's got any different opinions, though, or knows for certain that it's a different wire, then obviously mention in the comments, and that will help everybody out. But I think it's the green wire. And that's what I plan on doing. If I can mount that in a way or in a position and then run a short wire to the back and then somehow mount um, a copper connector or, or brass connector um, to the back of the hub, and that should give me the horn. But that's it, guys. Hopefully, I've covered everything. Wasn't the most straightforward um, installs by a long shot, but it definitely looks nice and it's obviously going to definitely add to security. And then once the trim is properly back on, which I've left loose because obviously I want to do the try and sort the horn out. But once it's all back on, it should look pretty smart. But thanks for watching, guys. I really do hope um, this video helps somebody out, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. See you later.